Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be solving this uh, problem called hex color code. So it is related to CSS if you are aware of. <coughs> so CSS, uh, let me search and tell you, it is connected to HTML. Uh, so CSS is like uh, a programming uh, language which is used to style the uh, the web pages. So HTML and JavaScript you use to design the web page means you you make the skeleton but if you have to um, uh, make it visually appealing or aesthetic wise if you uh, have to uh, please uh, i mean pleasing site if you want to make then you you use something called css cascading style sheets that is css so it is used for uh, giving colors giving uh, giving uh, alignments and all proper alignments so it looks aesthetically beautiful the sites websites so that is uh, what it is so uh, it is similar to html but uh, you have some things uh, related to uh, uh, css only uh, some some things like this this is what uh, it looks like you can see you can give background color font size font weight and then you can give line height whatever text decoration then these all things you can play around with pixels and colors so it looks uh, the website look uh, much more beautiful than than just a simple skeleton okay so that is what css is so what uh, we are doing here is uh, css colors are defined using a hex notation means uh, hexadecimal type of notation for the combination of red green and blue colors so if you have to give a combination of red green and blue color you represent it by a hexadecimal notation in CSS. So these are color representation. Uh, some characteristics are given to you. Uh, it will start with hash symbol. This hash symbol. It will have either three uh, digits or six digits. Uh, not more, not less. Then each digit will be in the range 0 to F. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. And then capital A, B, C, D, E, F you can also have small a b c d e f okay so that is what hexadecimal means means it is it varies from 0 to uh, f uh, so here you can see 0 to f and it can be in small letters as well so for example you can see these three are valid uh, hex color codes so you can see each of them is of three or uh, six digits you can see six digits and each digit is between 0 to 9 uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 or a b c d e f right and each of them are starting with hash symbol so that is what uh, that is how you define colors in css basically uh, so all the criteria these four criteria we have to meet uh, to check whether it is a hex color code or not here you can see some invalid hex color codes so this guy is having six color codes uh, six digits but uh, g is not allowed right g is uh, out of range similarly here you can see four digits only three or six are allowed here also you can see more than six right so hence they are invalid now what is our task we will be given n lines of css code and our task is to print all valid hex color codes in order of their occurrence from top to bottom right then you have a code pattern selector will be there then some curly bases inside that you have property and its value so this will be the uh, pattern of the css code okay here you can see uh, we'll get the uh, value of n the number of code lines then n such lines will be css code contains css code n can be between 0 to 50 and we have to output the color codes with hash symbol okay, with hash symbol we have to to print then an example you can see here this uh, 11 uh, uh, lines will be given for a css code so these are total 11 lines and you can see here these are property and its value <coughs> sorry property and its value similarly here also this is the property and its value and this is the selector that's the that's the format you can see now here you can see the output this is the color this is a color this is a color right this one then this is a color this is a color then this is a color this is a color so all six of them are uh, written here 
and mind you this guy and this guy is not a color because uh, it is it is a selector here so color can exist only within the curly braces uh, with name value pair right property value pair sorry so here you can see b d and c a have satisfy the hex color code criteria but they are used as selector not as color codes in the given css right that's why we have to avoid this and we have to capture these guys that's all as the valid color codes are these and there are no comments in css codes uh, so like this uh, so you can comment it but it is not given so uh, you can see it is a regex kind of problem we have to satisfy these four things so let me first take the value of n int input and then run a for loop for dash in range of n and for every line we have to check whether it is having any uh, uh having any uh, any hash symbols or not let let me import re as well because that's how you want to find out the pattern so let me uh, run like uh, re dot search inside this a uh, 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 pattern print print whatever the color will be right mm. how we want to capture the color so we will take the input let me call it imp comma here the pattern will be there let me take the input is equal to input like this okay so what pattern we have to uh, figure out is uh, is uh, just uh, these numbers first of all so let me write uh, digits will be there right and then uh, capital a to f capital a to f uh, then small a to f right and uh, 0 to 9 right these all things are there so this condition and this condition is fulfilled and uh, uh, it should start from okay so this can be like this total either 6 or you can have the same thing but you can have it three times either six times or three times it should start with it should start with hash similarly here as well start with hash right that is what it is doing means it is searching for uh, these uh, these symbols these two symbols either three times or six times simple as that and it is starting from uh, uh, hash when we can print valid something or else it will not print anything let's run this code so this is the input given to us and we can see it is printing valid and valid two times but the output should have been like this so how we wanna grab the grab this uh, this thing uh, colors so we have to find the match as well right so let me uh, do like this just we were doing what before print t and here i'll write t is equal to okay so that we can see what is what is being there so it is presenting a match here in bed and then in cab right so why is this happening because in first line it is starting with star uh, hash this guy it is fine it is starting with hash next line is this which is not starting with hash 
here also it is not starting with with hash right so it should start with hash uh, so these guys are starting with hash that's why it is capturing the other guys it is not being captured here then uh, here also so every line it should capture right so what will what can be the uh, the solution so uh, it necessarily not had has to start with this right you can also do like this so whenever it will find this pattern or this pattern it will print it so now you can see there is a match here there is a match here there is a match here then again there is a match here there is a match here but here you can see it is arriving two times now search what it will do it will only check for once it will only check for once in a one line if there are multiple colors then it will it won't check so let me do find all it will find all all the all the f i n d it will find all the matches in one line so let's see so here you can see bed is there then these two are there cab uh okay then this guy then this guy hmm why there is no match in this line mm hmm every time it is do, looking for this as well so that is not a good thing okay is there any mistake i did well yeah, it is correct and it is finding all of it why these guys are not being captured uh, capital u to f okay 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 there is no line here <laughs> okay so this line is uh, not here that's why <laughs> it's not uh, taking it so this has a bed then uh, this thing this thing then this thing and this thing and lastly this thing right so all of it are there so what do we have to do now now first thing i have to remove these guys so like the lines in which it is uh, uh, there is no color it is still printing something right in empty string so what i can do is if t is a uh, not equal to blank then print t right this is what i can do simple so now it will only print the list now what do i have to do i have to remove these guys this guy and this guy so what do i have to do see these guys are starting with hash right but uh, these guys are also starting with hash so how can i differentiate so what i can do is um, uh, i can do something uh, see when we start we, we did is with with uh, with this sign i don't know what it is called it was only capturing this guy and this guy 
so why not use it so let's use it if um, how we can do okay so let me take this guy control c instead of writing uh, like this so if it will start with if it will start with uh, this we will ignore it s e a r c h right if it is starting with a uh, hash means uh, the line is starting with hash we can we can ignore it see i made this sign this sign with this sign hash if you will write it means in the starting if the line is starting with hash that is what it means that is what it is searching when i will write this only hash it will search in the line where the hash is so here it will search for this hash and this hash that's the difference so i'm using starting and inside that if it is if this guy if a boolean of this guy is false is equal to equal to false then only it will go for to check for other conditions like this it will check for all other and if there is no star then only it will print right so let's do it so now you can see Uh, only uh, so we are managed to uh, remove these guys now we have to print in this fashion right in this fashion so what i'll do i'll just print star t with separator slash n that is how we can print slash n so now we are getting what we want so just simple if else cases Uh, so the tricky part was uh, to remove these guys right to remove these ones and look for the other ones and you can see we have used find all it will it will match all the all the patterns uh, same pattern in one line multiple times so that is what it is so let's submit it all the test cases are passed and let's move on to the next problem now